I've made this celadon style vase in like 2 minutes by extruding verts and using screw, subsurf, and solidify modifiers, which I cover in other tutorials so I won't get into that in this one. What we'll focus on today instead is baking a normal map using multi-res modifier. It's a great way to have high resolution sculpt details with fairly low face count. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my tutorials and let's begin. I'm going to turn on statistics to see how many faces. As you can see about 5000 faces for this face. Let's add the multi-res modifier. I'm going to subdivide 3 times which will increase the face count to about 344,000. That's a lot and enough for smooth sculpting. Control tab to choose sculpt mode and I'll be using this draw sharp brush. If you go to active tool settings and scroll down, you'll see symmetry section. I'm going to use radial symmetry. Let's try 18 for Z. Draw sharp brush will draw into the object so if you want the reverse you'll have to hold control. I'm going to increase the brush size and try again. I want this uneven bumpy look, but you can try all kinds of different strokes for your own unique face. Let's go for a straight line this time choosing line for stroke method. I'm going to draw from front view and hold shift to smooth. Let's just stop here for sculpting and get into baking cause I don't want this video too long. We need to unwrap first so go to UV editing workspace. Just doing smart UV project. Go to modifier tab and drop viewport multi-res level to zero. Make sure you're using Cycles Engine since EV doesn't have the bake option. Under Bake, check Bake for Multi-Res. What we now need is an image texture node so go to Shading Workspace, click on Material Preview, and add a new material. Shift A to add an image texture node and click on New. Name it whatever, and choose resolution. I'm going for 2048. Uncheck alpha and press OK. Color space should be non-color. We might as well add a normal map node for later use. The next step is important. Make sure your object and the image texture node are selected. You should see a white box around your node if selected then all you have to do is click on bake. Let's check if it got baked. Looks like it did. Now connect color to color and normal to normal and we're done. You can try increasing the strength, but in my case I'll just leave it as is. Click on Render Preview and try different values for color and roughness. You can also plug in different base color and height texture maps if you want. Just play with it until you're satisfied. Hope you had fun and thank you for watching guys.